Hey there friends, Monster the Canadian here, and we're back in NHL 17 Hockey Ultimate Team. Today, my friends, we are doing something probably very dumb. We've got five coin bonanza packs. I made the decision that I don't want to spend a carbon collectible on any of those players in the sets right now. I don't! Even Dad Suk, I've been I've been hearing mixed things about him, and that makes me nervous, because I want him to be good. I want him to be good. It, Looks like the international player, the game cards, are performing better than Dadsuk, which isn't too surprising. They have three synergies, they have crazy speed. Uh, but we're going into the Coin Bonanza packs because of that. So I traded in all the collectibles I got instead of selling them like a normal person would for 30000 roughly. Uh, I would have got 30000 if I sold them. I'm going to see what the Coin Bonanza packs have to offer. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking me if they're worth it or not. We're finding out right now, so let's jump in here and open them. Again, I know this is a bad idea. People have been getting like 1,000, 2,000 coins from these. And, four, hey, okay, that's not too bad a loss. That's not too bad a loss. I'll redeem those coins. So, what that means is we only lost about 600, 700 coins on that one. That's not too bad. I figure if I can get back 15,000 of the 30,000 that I would have got, I'm happy, because that means basically I spent 15,000 coins to make a video to show you guys what these packs are like. So the first one's not bad, 4,500, I'll take that. I'll take that second pack here. We've got, five, okay, 5,000, so so far we're, what, two-thirds of the way there with three packs to go? That's actually kind of promising. They're only going, I, I actually went out and I bought one for 5,100 coins. So that's like low end, what they're going for. 5,000's not bad, 100 coin loss, that is kind of a worthwhile risk right now to me. And 4,000 again, okay, so we're basically there. Alright, we're basically there with two packs to go. Not too bad, alright, this is actually kind of promising to me. Not, again, sell them on the auction house, take the 15%, the or not 5% penalty. Uh, that seems to be the way to go, but if we get anything about 5,000, you never know. You never know! Two, ooh, 2,000, alright. But we did make our 15,000 coins, so I'm pretty happy about that, actually. Final pack here. Final pack. Will this be the one that sets us over the edge where I go, this is actually pretty good. If we get fifth, or if we get 10,000 coins, I basically made the money I would have from selling the packs. If we get 15,000 coins, which I saw one person get, I think, 15,000. It was either that or... It was a large amount of coins. Uh, if we get that, then we made more than we would have from selling them, and I'm super happy. All right, here we go. Open now. Open now. What do we got? Coin Bonanza Pack, and it ends up being 3,000. Okay, so like I said, not too worthwhile, but it actually wasn't as bad as I thought. We got 4,500, we got 4,000, we got 5,000. In the end, we made 19,000. I probably would have sold it for between 25 and 30,000. Uh, that's not too bad a loss. But now you guys know, this was my Coin Bonanza pack opening. Hopefully you enjoyed, and uh, if you have opened any of these, which I'm sorry if you did, but if you did, what did you get from them? Uh, anything higher than 5,000? Anything crazy? I know that some people were saying that it's possible to get 200,000. I've yet to see anyone. Anyone get 200,000. So hopefully you enjoyed watching. Until next time, this is Foster the Canadian, saying see ya.